Good morning, God of the heavens, God of everything, Almighty God, God of Father. Good morning. Thank you. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, for your blood that washes our sins and made us whole. Thank you for filling us with thy Holy Spirit. I lift up today to you. Forgive us for our iniquities. And may your Spirit guide us. May we not live in the flesh, but live in the spirit today and always. Praise you, Lord. In the Lord Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Yes, today we are in Psalm 38. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head. As an heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before Thee, and my groaning is not hid from Thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it also is gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life snares for me, and they that seek, seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thy, thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. Thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they would rejoice over me when my foot slippeth. They magnify themselves against me, for I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare in mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin, but mine enemies are lively and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Simple and contrite heart. A heart that knows that it is deceitful in itself. That is the heart that we should always have in front of the Lord our God. We know that our hearts are deceitful. In no way is there anything good that comes from this flesh of ours. But thank God that He has given us a spirit. He has quickened us. He has, uh, he has given us a new life we are now born again and daily we come to him and we just lay down everything to him 
even this heaven is because of our deceitful hearts and our evil thoughts our evil words our evil deeds we just come humbly before him and we know that only in him can we find forgiveness and mercy only in him can we find the in the filling of his holy spirit so that we could be flowing abundantly with his spirit and we can be victorious not because of our own strength but because of him because his faith is continually being built in us and strengthened and growing we should not live in the flesh but in his in the spirit and always always waking up to talk to him and, and to ask for forgiveness and to ask for his help and inspiration there's no other way I will now be reading something from the New Testament and uh, I'm just very excited. I just wanted to share to you, especially to those who are new in this walk with the Lord. Oh Lord Jesus, please take care of them and help them to grow in your word. In the Lord Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Everything you do for Him, by Him, through Him.